people people welcome back to my channel again this is your girl boina i'm here again with another interesting topic i want to say to all my wonderful wonderful subscribers thank you thank you thank you so much for visiting my channel and not just passing by but subscribing to my channel and i also want to say thanks to my returning viewers and to all of you who have left me in the comments please be respectful with your comments okay guys we learn for each other i'm not learning something for you two guys i don't know at all you know guys this channel is all about being informed inspired and motivated simply by boino my name is boino and this is my channel you are most welcome so let's get straight into our topic today guys i'm going to talk about some of the living condition in liberia if you are in Liberia or if you've been to Liberia before, if you are somebody who loves to do charitable things, if you are somebody who loves to be that kind of person that will want to help Liberia, this is how majority of the people live in Liberia. This is it. Okay? Probably not. Probably is. But I'm speaking from a know-how point okay guys so let's get straight into our topic the living condition in liberia first let's talk about the access to clean water in liberia there's only two third of people have access to clean running water yes it is a priority in liberia it's not everybody that have access to a clean running water most people in most of the area in Liberia, they take water, they drink water from where? There is how you hardly find a runny pump water in a house. People go to where to drink water and when you find a hand pump, it's, it's somewhere far away that you have to go to get a drinking water. There, there, there's some organization that put in hand pump for people to have access to a clean drinking water. But when you see an uh, area, sometimes you might only see two or three hand pumps of clean drinking water. And then uh, there are a lot of where, and those where they are not clean or uh, safe water for people to drink. So there, there is, uh, it's very important and it's something that is very difficult for our people in Liberia to have access to a clean drinking water. It is some a priority because most people, they live from where they are to go a distance to get a clean drinking water. There is hardly a pump or prep water running water in a house majority there's only few people the elite that you will see they have running water in their house they drink good water but most of the people and sometimes when you are not drinking that clean water you don't have that running pipe water or that hand pump that the organization put in to have safe water in the community the water you drink and make the people sick and so that's some of the water it causes hygiene is not good for the body yet and still people drink it because they don't have access to clean drinking water there's this organization that i'm part of and this gone weekend we had a program to provide 14 hand pumps of clean safe drinking water to the community which is in uh the borough of Nukuta, which is in the Cap Masurado. There's this place they call Nukuta. And so we had this fundraising for 14 hand pumps. And so if I tell you that water is 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 water is life, we all know that water is life. And back home in Liberia, it is very important and it's very difficult to have access to a safe, clean drinking water. So that's another um her living condition for the people in Liberia. Let's go to another one. Okay, the next one is the food supply. Guys, it's not easy to get food, to eat a three square meal a day in Liberia. It is very, very difficult. And you know, Liberia's stable food is rice. To get the rice alone is hard. And now prices are high. That's why you see, because of rice, 
there was a war that was fought in Liberia because of rice. And you 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 are not even able to provide for your children that three square meal. Sometimes if people have to go to work before they can come home to buy a cup of rice. Most people, majority of the people, they don't even have a bag of rice in their home. They have to go and buy rice by cup. And if you don't have rice to eat, what what is the the, the thing that the people eat rice is the major food rice is the the, the stable food they ain't gonna eat salad they ain't gonna eat potato they ain't gonna eat it even those things are very very expensive to buy rice rice is 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 not it's it's expensive but not equal to those other things and those things even if you eat it they are not your stable they are not the stable food that will bring satisfaction to the people and so and if they even eat it it is not enough i'm just trying to talk about those other thing like potato and all those other thing it is there in liberia but to get food is hard food supply is very high in liberia and the prices are so high so you find most people and most children suffering from malnutrition because of foods food is a very important thing that we all know because without food how will we live and so we struggle there is a struggle of food in Liberia. There is a struggle to, 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 for you to be able to put a three square meals for your family, to prepare three square meals a day for your family. There is a struggle. Sometimes people only eat one square meal a day. That is if they have it. Some home doesn't even eat for that day. They don't even have it to put pot on the fire yeah it's very difficult you 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 may have more other people may have more and western but majority of the people in liberia don't have food they depend on handouts they depend on other people that are that other family or friends that are in foreign country to help them to be able to have food on their table so food supply is very low in liberia yes you would say that oh rice is plenty food is this but it is expensive and farming people farm but it is expensive for the people to get the money to go and buy these things it is very expensive so the food supply in liberia it's expensive because of that it's hard for people to get food children get sick excuse me children are malnourished because there there is no food supply and because of the war those places that people used to grow food most of the people left the farm they left the rural area they come to live in the city so we, we we hardly have our own products, our own food growing in the country. We have to depend on other countries to come and bring in food to the country. So because of that, those food that are imported into the country, they are so very expensive for, for, for people. And people don't have the money to get enough of those food to eat. So there are shortage in food, there are no food supplies, and people get sick, people die of starvation, people die of hunger, people die of not having the correct, correct square meals a day. And even if you have one, it's not something that is very nourishable that you will prepare with all the things that you need to prepare a way for you to eat it and feel good and for your body to be nourished so food supply is one of the difficult thing that is in liberia another living condition in liberia is the child labor you're gonna see little little kids are selling because parents don't have the means to even take care of the children. So they send these children out to go and sell so that they can be able to have something to eat. Small children that should be in school, they are out there selling in Liberia. And the police people, they don't have the, the mechanism to stop these children or to put them in school because even the parents does not have the money to pay the school fees. So they have to send them out there in the street. Lots and lots of kids are out there in the streets selling like in the foreign countries you see these kids they are in school they are in their homes you don't see them in the street they don't have to sell they don't have to work till they are grown up 
of certain age. But back home, little kids of five, six, seven, eight, ten, they have to sell. Sometimes if your parent goes to sell, your parent take you with them and then they put the market on the table. They take the other smaller one, they put it in your tray and say, okay, carry this one around and then come back when you finish, come back. So they have to help their parents to sell. Sometimes if they are going to school, the after school, they will come back and then they will take some of those things, put it in the tray, carry help their parents to sell because these are some of the means that their school fees are paid and they are able, their parents are able to put food on the table for them to eat. So you have child labor. The children are working hard just as the parents are also to provide for the children, children are breadwinner also, like the parents are breadwinner. So, but that is child labor because the children are not supposed to be laboring at that age. When we talk about the child labor, I, for one, I was a child labor because I was somebody who used to go in the market to sell. My mom would give me this cold water and I would put it there. I go and sell to support my mom. My mom was a single mother and she had to feed us. She had to take care of us. She, we had to go to school. And so I also was a child labor. I so as a child. That's how I learned my selling skills and things like that. Children are not supposed to labor. So that's another living condition that is not right in Liberia. Then we come to the road infrastructure, the road condition. There is not a good road in Liberia. We all complain. Lots of people back home when I was even there complained about the road condition in Liberia. The road condition is so bad. It's very bad. But the road infrastructure, this road, Liberia don't have a road. There is no, there is no road in the country. The little roads that are there, they are bad. And because of that, the streets get congested. You don't even have roads to pass your car. There is one way, no way to turn. So all of the cars, there is lots and lots of traffic. If you want to go to town, you have to wake up early, early. There is no extra different back route front route, side route, take this uh, way, turn it to the other way. There is nothing like that in Liberia. It's just one way to go, one way to come. Yeah, and there's no road. And the roads that are there, they are not developed. And so it's hard to move about when you are in car. There's lots and lots of traffic. We are still looking up to, the Liberians are still looking up to the government to build roads, to open places, streets that, that there will be roads. So that's another living condition in Liberia, which is not good. Then we talk about poverty. Oh my God. Lots and lots of Liberians are living in abject poverty. If you think you are living better, go to other places in Liberia and then you're going to see the difference. You're going to know, say, oh, I'm far better. But there are other people that do not have food, that do not have clothing, that do not have shelter. People live on the street. People don't have good clothes. People sleep in the marketplaces. People don't even have food to eat. I've checked Paul for the majority of the people. There is no places that you will say, oh, this is a shelter that the people can go in, or this is a, a, a church building that keeps people during the night, or this is a place that feeds people during the day that people come there to eat when they are hungry, or those that don't have food, or this is a place that people go to get food supply. There is nothing like that in Liberia. So people live in abject poverty. Yes, guys. The living condition is is not good and majority of the people are living in abject poverty the literacy rate huh lots and lots of people are illiterate and that rate is so high because education is so expensive in liberia so people don't go to school most people are in the market selling when would they be done with their selling or have money to feed their family before they can even go to school? So most of the people, they, they are illiterate. They don't have that education. Some can read, some can write, but most are not educated. And so there, there are no opportunity to, to take away that literacy 
from the people. There was a time that after the war, I remember, even though I was later, but there was this um play uh group that had this um early, I know, uh, did I call it early learning or old learning something for the older people and most people that used to sell in the market after their evening market uh shift they will pack their market and then they will go to the school building they go to learn how to read and write but I don't know if they have those things there now yeah and that was helping people those market women it was helping them to read and to write and some of the people that find interest in them they decided to further their education those that were that were that were fat and smart enough that learned quickly from there how to read and read they saw it so interesting and say yes i can further my education they went to school from there and they further their education and they became somebody better so it's not easy in like people the literacy rate is so high most people are illiterate there is there is only a few people that are educated few men and few women that are educated and then we have the corruption the corruption is another thing that keeps the country down because people will come with promises like people will come that they want to run for the country they want to do better they can do better than this they're going to do this they're going to do that but the moment they get into that power node all they does is they see about themselves and then they forget about the people so the country's go down and down and because of this corruption our country suffer so many things that's why bring about the kind of living condition that is in the country Liberia no food supply no safe drinking water poverty rates electricity because these are things that when people get into leadership they're supposed to see about and found to do for their people for the upliftment for the growth for the development of the country road infrastructure all of that but because of this corruption the country begin to go down and down and down but notwithstanding there are still good people and there are more good people than bad people and we have organization that put together that go out there in the rural area in the city in the counties in the villages to help our people to help children that are not in school to help people with safe drinking water because the government we cannot depend on the government to do all of these things so people are out there doing it putting money together especially those that are in the diaspora for me i'm part of like two three organizations that we put money together to send back home to support our people and apart from that i have to do my own uh charitable thing in my own community where i'm from so that alone it help the people it, 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 it take them from one level to another and it makes them to 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 feel that yes people care for us people people know us people 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 i know are there for us and some of these people when they get the opportunity of what they are giving them they move forward with it and it help to better their lives so guys this is some of the living condition and i'm sure i cover most of the important living condition in liberia so if you are uh, that charitable person and if you have that organization liberia is a country that is in need we are liberia is a poor country yes even though we had our independent years back we have just been from war we are a war torn country and we Liberia is trying to get back on its feet. So don't forget, go on the map, check for the country Liberia and see what you can do for that country Liberia. So I hope I make sense today, guys. This is all I have for you today about the living condition in the country Liberia. I'll see you there. I'll see you on my next video. Stay safe. I love you guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.